This video discusses a challenging and curious case of bilateral non-resolving vitritis. Unmasking the masquerade on ultra-wide field imaging. Author has no financial interests in this video. A 52 years old healthy female presented with gradual, painless blurred vision in both eyes since 6 months. She was under treatment for OU vitritis and was prescribed local and systemic steroids, anti-cox therapy and oral azathioprine sequentially, but without visual improvement. BCBA was counting fingers in right eye and hand movements in left eye. Anterior segment was unremarkable except early nuclear sclerosis in both eyes. Slit lamp evaluation showed dense anterior vitritis. Fundus evaluation showed grade 3 and grade 4 vitreous haze in OD and OS respectively. Ultra wide field imaging revealed peculiar aurora borealis pattern of vitreous haze in OU and string of pearls pattern in OD. B scan USG showed complete PVD and attached retina in OU. Based on ultra wide field imaging findings, OU vitreo retinal lymphoma was suspected. MRI brain with orbit was found to be normal. Patient was advised to stop steroids in any form for two weeks and left eye was considered first for past planar vitrectomy to collect vitreous sample. 23 gauge sclerotomies were made, keeping infusion off. Undiluted anterior vitreous sample collection was done with cut rate of 600 and manual aspiration by assistant. This prevents mutilation of lymphoma cells and thereby giving high yield. As globe started to collapse, air infusion was switched on to prevent hypotony. Further undiluted vitreous sample was collected under air. Using wide angle viewing system and keeping cut rate of 600. This was followed by diluted vitreous sample collection under fluid infusion. Arrangement was made to send both samples within half an hour for histopathology evaluation. Vitrectomy was then completed using higher cut rate. Pre-retinal with real clumps were removed with flute needle, underlying retina did not reveal any sub-retinal lesions. Fluid air exchange was done. And intravitreal rituximab as well as methotrexate were injected through sclerotomy. Cytology of vitreous sample showed cells favoring high-grade non-Hodgkin's lymphoma as indicated by black arrows in upper image. On immunohistochemistry these cells expressed CD20 positivity as indicated by red arrows in left lower image and also MUM positivity as indicated by purple arrows in right lower image. These findings confirmed the diagnosis of diffuse large B-cell lymphoma. Intravitreal rituximab monotherapy was started in OD as well. At two weeks, OS showed uncorrected visual acuity of 20 by 40 with clear vitreous cavity and attached retina. Post rituximab monotherapy, OD showed central vitreous haze clearance. Second rituximab intravitreal injection was given in OD at one month interval. However, there was marginal reduction in vitreous haze after second injection. Since OS was maintaining well post vitrectomy, OD also was considered for same surgical intervention.
23 gauge vitrectomy was performed in OD. Since diagnosis was confirmed in OS, sample collection was not required from OD and hence vitrectomy was performed at high cut rates. Pre-retinal with real clumps were removed with flute needle, underlying retina did not reveal any sub-retinal lesions. Fluid air exchange was done. And intravitreal rituximab as well as methotrexate were injected through sclerotomy. At two weeks follow-up, uncorrected visual acuity in OD was 20 by 60, there was some cataract progression. Fundus showed attached retina and clear vitreous cavity. Fundus in OS was also stable. Swept source OCT of both eyes did not reveal any sub-retinal or choroidal lesions. Vitreous haze pattern seen on UWF imaging in vitreo-retinal lymphoma, depends on state of vitreous liquefaction and cinerasis. Lymphoma cells accordingly align in linear opacities or clumps. Recognizing these patterns can reduce delay in diagnosis of VRL and help in early treatment. Though, combination of intravitreal methotrexate and rituximab can be used. Intravitreal rituximab monotherapy has been found to be effective in management of VRL with isolated ocular involvement. Long-term follow-up has shown vitreous haze reduction and minimal side effects. Thank you for watching.